Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Alcoholic Phoenix here and welcome to episode 4 of my Infinite Warfare Team Tactical series. Excuse me. Oh god damn that, that... Ah, fuck. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. I was like, I, I thought it was coming and then it wasn't and then all of a sudden I start doing this and it does. Ah, oh, damn. I gotta fucking mute somebody if they're gonna keep talking. Raging hard, dude. No fucking. What's up, dude? I'm sick of this dude talking, though. It's starting to really piss me off. Oh man, excuse me. Fuck. I can't stop sneezing. Sorry about that. I really do apologize. Fuck, I thought he was going up. Damn it. I was in between. I was like, what one do I choose? Fuck. I should have been fucking ready for them. I shouldn't have tried to go up top. Although. Going around that corner probably wouldn't have been a good idea in the three of them or whatever it was. Where the fuck am I? It took me a second. That was poor aim. I missed too many shots at the start of that fight. A lot of being doing well in this game is predicting like once your teammate dies where he died from if they're using a silencer that helps a lot. If you can figure out where they were you can get the drop on people pretty consistently. They're going to spawn. And also, you to just... Like, a lot of people when they play COD for some reason only look at the minimap when there's a UAV up. But you've got to be constantly looking at it to see where your teammates are and then wherever they're not. Like, you just watch which direction they're heading in. If they're heading straight this way, right? Like, like I am. You go, okay, the enemies have spawned there for now, but they're going to flip back behind us. So you got to try to go the other way if you want to do really well anyway. If you really want to be able to get people all the time. Now that guy killed them. So where's he going to go? It's just a lot of prediction. You know, you can't... It's not going to happen first day, but it definitely helps if... If you can be pretty... If you're pretty decent on the sticks. And you can see which direction they're heading in. Or which direction your teammates are heading in, you can normally figure out where the enemy's going to be pretty easily. And I recommend sliding a lot too around corners, because a lot of people don't predict it. Like, I didn't just predict that that was going to fucking run out of ammo, even though I saw that it only had one bullet left, and I still shot at him. We got a lot of hit markers. That was right outside these doors in this area, so I'm gonna head up top and go around and take the long route. He saw me. He can be ready for me. Oh, Warden got him. People behind me. They're spawning behind me, clearly. Well, that's another thing. The Warden will also kind of let you know where they are based on where he's shooting. You just listen for his bullets. 
Listen for the warden's machine gun bullets to land, and you can go, okay, he's shooting behind me, so there must be a few enemies behind me. I'm going to activate my armor because I'm going to go into this long hallway, which can have people peeking it, like that guy back there. Putting that reactive armor on probably saved my life. Hey, and he thought I was going to go... He thought I was going to go around, so I double took and went back. Anyway, enough advice because I'm just kind of ranting now, or yammering on. You can pretty much see how I'm playing it. Uh, like, I've got decent reaction times on the sticks a lot of the time now. This is the risky one, right? Okay. I caught him as he's going out. He waited for me and I caught him on the way out. See how that guy slid? Fucked me up. Sliding is so important, especially in tactical TDM. Holy fuck, dude. That banshee. If he gets right in my face, I'm Ripperino for sure. Oh, damn. Okay. Let's slow it down a little bit. That dude with the banshee's going off. But the thing is, the thing is, he's using a shotgun, right? So if you can keep your distance from a lot of your kills, you'll be fine. It's just the close quarters now. I've got to be nervous because that guy's around. And I know he's got that Banshee, and he seems somewhat decent with it. So, I've got to be careful. This guy's loud as fuck in front of me. Although I am too, I guess. But I can't sound haul very well. With him being so loud. I'm going to go around, which is what this guy was thinking too. So I'm going to do it first. He predicted it. Well done to him. That assist sucks. Okay, there's got to be people over here because this ah nobody there, no teammates there is what I was supposed to say. All right, this guy's gonna go out. I'm gonna let him go first. He'll take the hit, and I'll get the kill if he doesn't kill him. Sometimes you just gotta bait your teammates into uh letting you work the enemies out of hiding. I'm going to go wide to it. They're going to be spawning back here. See how I saw where my teammates were and predicted where the enemy was going to be. Alright, now I know my Scorchers can go bombard this side of the map. Alright. 39 and 14. Fucking hell, dude. Did pretty well again. Not as good a KD, but more kills. Damn, that Banshee dude. Nice. Good stuff. Okay. Terminal TDM. Well, I've played on this map a few times in this series already. Okay, I'm just not going to peek that. Got a sniper rifle. We're in the lead. They're probably gonna spawn behind us. Oh shit. Fucking blind I am. God damn. How the hell didn't I see that guy there? There we go. This area is really risky. Too many directions you can get shot from, really. Not not the smartest place to stand. But it also has... Okay, teammates are going that way, so I should be okay. If they go up top, I'm going to die. Okay, there is a guy coming. I saw his head because he jumped. That let me know. Okay, they're probably going to go hallway. Or stairway. Let's have that kill sealed. Kill stolen. Kill stealed. Good English, me. Damn it, he waited for me. He was smart. He knew I kept going back to pick it. Pick at them. Friendly drone support is active. Man, I was so close to Scorchers. Okay. They're going to be waiting there. I'm going to do the smart thing and I'm going to go around. No, I'm not. I'm going to get fucked up by a damn grenade. A cluster grenade. That's what's going to happen to me. Holy crap. Are right, you waiting in this room? 
Alright, glass has already been blown out. He waited. I thought he was the guy lying down, but it was a dead body. God damn it. I just stole that guy's kill super hard. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go that way. I'm gonna bail out. Fuck! Fuck! Oh, I got stuck on the box! M1. He like one tapped me with it. That thing is a fucking headshot machine if it hits you. You're dead instantly. It'll one tap your ass. Okay, let's go wide. Teammate's got a warden up. He's doing really well. So. <sighs> Struggle. Struggling a little bit. Not a bad place to put it. Pretty smart play, to be honest. If I can jump up here, I'll clip him. Is it dead? Yeah, it's dead. Okay. Let's push up. I'm going to push him hard. That's pretty far. There's a guy back here. Oh, I can't aim with that fucking gun. What are you guys doing? Holy fuck. Okay, they can't hit me back here. I'll wait for that to come down. Whoa! He got that out of a fucking care package. That's some shit, dude. Fuck. Too many fucking rooftops. Fuck it! He slid to my right. He would have been dead. Oh shit. Oh shit, not good. Fucking Thor's not good. Thor is not good. It's gonna spawn me outside. It's gonna keep spawning me down here. What a shit care package, dude. What a fucking... What an absolute fucking joke. He gets that in a fucking care package. I'm staying back here. Fuck you. Which way are you going, pimp? Where'd you go? Fuck yourselves, you idiots. I ain't fucking standing there and getting killed by fucking Thor. Get fucked. I'll slide in here. You can't hit shit. Fucking what luck he got. Wow. What absolute ass that was to get that in a, in a fucking care package. That thing is too good. Come on. Ah. Well, that wasn't a great game. 21-14. Still an okay KD. Man, that fucking... Like, seriously? A Thor in a drone package? That's some shit. Well, anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more, hit that sub button. Thank you all for watching, and have a lovely day. All right, peace.